morning, here we are again going on a treasure hunting mission. Today the destination is Cannes and I'm always with Nora's vet. You don't, if you don't know her, you should definitely go to check her channel out because it's so cool. <laughs> so stay with us for the next uh, few minutes because good things are going to happen. We arrived in Cannes, as you can see we are not in the street, we are in a parking lot. <laughs> That's where we will get changed. <laughs> we have all the gear here on the roof and in the back of the car. And so here we are in underwear, I mean a swimming suit in the parking lot in Cannes at minus three. And then we will have to walk all the way to the sea in the street. <laughs> and that will be fun. Change. Time to go in the water to find some gold. Without losing any time, we started to research the bottom of the sea. Something was wrong because there were not enough signals. We've been metal detecting for around 20 minutes now, but we didn't find much. I see Nora near the pier here, and uh, I just found a, a ring, but uh, here the finds are really scarce, right? We changed location, and in this new beach, the signs are more promising since there is also a floating platform over there, so we will go check it out. Now. Alright, so it looks like there was a ring under the platform. Let's see what else I can find under the place where everybody jumps off. Here I found this earring that looked like made of gold and to quickly understand underwater if something is made of gold or just plated, you scratch it on the side of the scoop so that if there is any metal beneath the plating it will show up. And unfortunately this was the case because copper immediately showed up under the gold plating of this earring. Immediately after finding that fake gold earring, I found another pendant and Nora was filming me, so we have both perspectives of these finds and I got so excited and she got excited too when I show it to her. Oh, wow. oh, 
But unfortunately, as soon as she passed it back to my hands, I realized that it couldn't be gold because it was too light and I could see some tarnishing surfacing from beneath the plating and so I was fooled for the third time in one day by fake gold. At this point we were on fire because we knew that under that platform there was some gold and it was just a scoop away of distance from us. So Nora went down finding a few targets and I helped her recovering some of them. So now you will see me diving and recovering some targets for Nora. Here I went down and found a scoop right next to the hole that Nora just dug, so I used the scoop to dig the target found by Nora. Cheering, yeah, we found some gold. In or just no, no, really, we found some gold. In, for, in forms of coins? Oh, no, um, gold ring. Right. Someone lost a gold ring. Yeah, I assume uh, searching around this. Uh, <laughs> no, where people jump and then they jump with a gold chain, with a gold ring. And oh. Yeah, no, it's very fun. So fun. This is an underwater metal detector. It's a nice port. <laughs> We have an injury. I have an injury. A big piece of glass in the yes, foot because I have we were a, walking. I have a big piece of glass in my foot because we were walking from the beach to the car. I can feel it with the tip of the knife. You feel it? Yes, definitely. It's much bigger than the cut, actually. Oh, wow. Yes. I have to open a bit the, the wound. The skin. Can you hear this noise? Yes, I heard it before. Oh my god, that's a big... Oh my god, there it ah, is! Wow! Oh. It's out. Oh wow, that is huge. Ooh, that's nasty. Um, put some hand sanitizer on. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Rub it with the knife. It's splinter. That's so bad. Play on the towel, there are all the finds of today. It was pretty amazing to find them, even if the signals weren't much, the quality of the finds gave me a lot of a heartbeat today. Because it immediately looked like I found some pretty nice find. As you can see here, the first find of the day was this uh, tungsten ring, uh, which I totally didn't expect to find because the sand was so soft, so it shouldn't have been there. It had probably been lost just a few hours before. Then we moved under the uh, swimming platform, 
and diving platform in front of the beach which is the best area that we have ever treasure hunted until now on the Cote d'Azur uh, because everybody jumps off the platform and drops whatever jewelry they own <laughs> unfortunately for them uh, maybe if we can find the owner we can even give it back but for the moment we never found even one item with the name of the person who lost it on it so the first find was this ring under the platform and uh, it looked like a gold ring but then I didn't see any stamp in fact probably it's just a custom design ring let me zoom on it it says Michael Kor course and is a number seven size uh, with some turtle pattern on the side and um, it's not made of gold but it's it gave me a good heartbeat to find it then I found this uh, earring which I thought it was gold but then I scratched it on the scoop and um, of course it didn't appear to be gold because there was some copper appearing from underneath uh, then uh, I found a few other things and then this amazing uh, uh, pendant. The most exciting find of the day was certainly this one because it looked like a gold coin which is which had been mounted with a ring in order to fit on a necklace. So what they did is they took a penny and plated it in gold. So uh, the right amount of gold to fool me underwater. We're very excited about finding these platforms because under them it's full of stuff and we saw that there are at least five more that we have to go explore. So um, we can't wait to go back there and see what other treasures are hidden under these swimming platforms. Remember to go to check out Nora's finds because they were very cool, even cooler than mine. So I'm really excited because if we found so many things under one, imagine what's under the other five. So stay with us for the next episode because good things will happen. I see Nora's feet, I see Nora's face. Are you naked behind the towel? You'll never know. Et voila, steak and eggs is ready. Let's go to find some gold. <laughs> That's a fun one, <laughs> the crust. So we just finished dinner, we had a pizza and I was wondering where's Nora? What's Nora doing at night? She's nowhere to be found. In the toilet? Nope. In my room? No. In the kitchen? No. Oh. Ah, there she is! Hello! Nora, what are you doing? Hanging laundry. <laughs> ah, that's what you do at night. No. <laughs> what do you do at night? Well, I usually relax, but I realized we forgot I put my laundry in the washer. And I realized, oh, I don't have any clean clothes because they're all still wet in the washer. Nobody can see you there in the shadow. I'm in the shadow. Yeah, you were in hiding in the shadow. I have a problem. I can't find a place to hang my last pair of pants. So? So, I will find a place inside. Probably your door. What do you mean, my door? Or a door. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, very interesting. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I found the perfect spot. <laughs> and that's what Nora does at night. <laughs>